In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new BCC Cartoon Look Filter in Final Cut Pro. The BCC Cartoon Look Filter was designed to easily convert images and clips into cartoon-style roto animations. The result is a look that has been popularized by such films as A Waking Life and A Scanner Darkly, and can also be seen in broadcast TV commercials for the Charles Schwab Company. Now anyone with a supported NLE or compositing system can achieve this look easily and quickly with the BCC Cartoon Look Filter. So let's get started. In this sequence, I have a clip of a boy racer in his toy car. I'm going to apply the BCC Cartoon Look Filter to this clip by dragging the filter from the BCC 6 effects group onto the clip. And by simply adding the filter, I've instantly generated a very convincing cartoon roto look. Now let's see what we can do to tweak the default settings of this filter to suit better the image clip that we're working with. Now the effect that this filter has on an image can be broken up into two parts. The image contour lines, referred to in the UI as lines, which are where the filter draws a line around the edge of defining areas in the image, and everything else, referred to in the UI as cartoon, which is where the colors in the image are reduced. Now as you can see, the filter's user interface has been laid out to make working with this filter as easy as possible, with the main filter controls located at the top of the parameter list and the controls used less frequently hidden in the advanced group. The first thing that we'll do is to enable the temporal smoothing control by clicking on the temporal smoothing pop-up and selecting on. This will have the effect of smoothing the transition between frames of the cartoon look result. Other options at the top of this filter include the ability to individually control the appearance of the lines and the cartooning. Notice I can toggle the cartooning and lines on and off. For the purpose of this filter, I am going to leave both of these enabled. Notice that we can also control the width and threshold of the lines. I'm going to change the threshold to negative 5 so that there is more detail included in the result and the line width to about 1.5 just to thicken the lines up a little bit. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the advanced controls by twirling down the advanced group and then twirling down the cartoon group to access the cartoon specific advanced parameter controls. I'm going to change the soften order to both and I'm going to change the Harden Matte Control to 100. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with the result now, so I'll simply move on and complete the effect by stacking a couple of more filters from the full BCC6 set onto this image clip. So, to generate more lines, I am going to add another iteration of the Cartoon Look filter and this can be left at the default setting. Now to create a comic book look, I'm going to add BCC Halftone to the clip. I'm going to change the color scheme to RGB, and I'm going to change the mix with original to about 50 so that it blends in with the cartoon look rather than overpowering it. Lastly, let's add BCC hue, saturation, and lightness, and increase the saturation to 25. And that's it. Notice that while working with this filter, there was no need to pre-process or upsample the image to achieve a nice detailed result. We just applied the filter to the clip for a fast and easy render. Now to learn more about our filters or to download fully functioning 14-day trial versions, visit our website at www.borsfx.com.